and you can put pictures in the background and stuff. It's just their fault. It's just, you know, that's just how I Now, I'm getting kind of sick because it's actually sort of nice out. So I'll show you what you can do. Is let's make it stop snowing. No, I love the snow. And instead, let's make some rain, shall we? Yeah, because it doesn't rain here, so. Oh. <laughs> That is cool. Oh my goodness, Wait, look what's at that. that? <laughs> no, 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 don't it's change like, it. It's like chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that looks so good. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, cool, it's like through everything, even if you were like writing. Oh, so hey cool. girls, how are you? Welcome to our, welcome to the Linux Lab open house. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna play uh, some random YouTube video. I don't have any sound on. Oh, I don't have flashes. Anyway, it'll play videos too while you're rotating. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's cool. Ooh, it's a cute yeah. thing. It's, really cool. it's like rain. How neat is that? Wait, are they dual high or just single? Yeah. Uh, it's this is just uh, just a single loop. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, let's see. You can. Yeah. Just melt the chocolate. It's so cool. Yeah. Look at there it is. <laughs> you can actually bend the windows too. <laughs> and anyway, this is originally a product from Nobel. Um, the reason it came out is because normally, especially at your home computers, you spend a lot of money on a graphics card to play games and things like that, or people do spend a lot of money. And for the most part, when you're just using uh, you know, something like this, just a web browser, your expensive 3D card does nothing. It just sits there, literally does nothing. So this actually makes use of some of that stuff. Um, I can show you, this is kind of neat. You can switch. I think the Mac has something just like this. You can switch between windows. And yeah. Yeah. Do the cute, do the circular. Uh, oh yeah, you can make it, uh, where is that guy? Okay. You can do that. All the, the cool thing about this is um, the code that, that creates this is free. And you can download it and you can look at it. So if you want to do that, it's all yours. Is it for like any computer? Uh, you, can, cool. you can install it on most computers. You need a graphics card to be able to do this sort of stuff. So these guys can't do this. Um, they can't do the wobbly windows and things. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. It's kind of like uh, iTunes a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah, that like front row thing uh -huh. that makes me really mad because it never stops. Like once it gets going, and it's, it's got an expose plugin too, which uh, this has been out now for probably about four years. When it first came out, it was uh, it was pretty astonishing. Now um, Windows has things that are similar to this, as does uh, as does the Mac. Uh, here's expose super E. That's before, cool. And you can click on the window that you want to open. Anyway, that's just a window manager, so for and you can actually turn that on and off at will if you want. So if I wanted to turn that off, if you don't think it's that cool, it takes up a lot of memory. So now it's off and it's just like a, how much it's a regular desktop. Um and actually I mean it's not what it really makes use of is your 3D card. Oh, so okay. if you don't have a 3D card, it's not gonna work. Or mostly not at all. Um, Do we have that feature on the the older IBMs in the lab, Adam? This feature, no. But with a, a very cheap, less than fifty dollar three D card, would be easy to set up. Okay. Yep. Um, some of the other things on here. I know some of you guys have actually used these. Um, it's just a basic desktop, like anything else, it has accessories, CD burner, um, things of that nature. Um, has, I'll just show you really quickly. This is the open source version of Photoshop. It's called GIMP. And it works way easier. Uh, it, yeah. Well, to it me has, it one of the nice things about it is that because it's free, people write little plugins for it. So uh, there's lots of different things that you can do that. Um, we've had a lot of problems with Photoshop in general. Uh, 
uh, not that we wouldn't have problems with this, but at least we're not paying thousands of dollars for it. Uh, so this is called the GIMP. Is there a games folder on there or anything like that? Yeah, there might be. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I took them off a few of those Oh, yeah, here. these ones. <laughs> but they are on all of these. Yes. And they're very fun. Yeah, there's lots of cool games. Um, and I know something that people have been interested in checking out um, is GNU is a, a thing you might see splash around from time to time. It stands for GNU is not Unix, which is a recursive acronym. Um, it was a foundation that was started to uh, propagate free and open source software. So GIMP actually stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. Interesting. Wait, does Java work on that? Sure. Um, one of the nice, thing, nice things about Linux is it has lots of built-in programming languages already. Um, you can work with Python by, without installing anything. Um, Java is not supported by default because it's a closed source product, but you can install it and it'll work. Um, it has compilers for all sorts of different things. So. Um, CD partner, um, sound recorder, movie player, all that sort of stuff. This is something else I'll show really quick. This is on all, this is a, a program that was originally developed by Sun, which actually just got bought by Oracle, so I don't know what's going to happen to it. But it's called OpenOffice. It's on all the computers in the school. Um, and it's a free and open source replacement for Microsoft Office. I don't know if any of you have seen this on the, it's on all the Macs as well. Um, but it's actually compatible. You can open up uh, the newer version of Office uh, files in it. And you can save them that way as well. And something that I know other people might be interested in is if you don't like the background so much, we can actually change the themes very easily. Kind of like that one. Kind of has a Google, that's the Google theme, sort of, kind of. It's actually kind of a red. Okay. You, you know, eyesight? stealing my thunder there, Mr. Contois, yeah. again. Uh, I have this one in use on my computer. So. It's kind of boring. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I don't know if there's anything else, Mr. Montaigne.